friends, it's Serena from the Falco family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a few clips um, from when the kids and I made terrariums the other day. Uh, it was a part of the Good and the Beautiful's Water in Our World Science Unit and uh, it's a really simple a simple project to do with the kids concerning the water cycle but you guys know y'all know I had to make it as extra as possible and add our own little creative bits to it so it was a lot of fun. Take one. First layer of our terrarium is activated charcoal. Mm. You need the whole thing covered. I also want to use one, so which one should I use? I want to use those. Yeah, I'm going to use both. So take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Our second layer is pebbles and wax. Take three. The third layer for our terrarium is soil. Look like pickles a bit now. They do look like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want this one? I can do it how you do it. Alright, so. Take four. Step four of your terrarium is add the plants. Dig a hole. Yeah. You got it, Mama. Mommy, a book of the rabbit's mine. Live in peace with one another. Now, you guys, I must say, this project was super fun and super easy, but also super messy. And if it wasn't such a gloomy day outside, we definitely would have done it outside. Take five. Step five, decorate! Right next to Spikey. I'm also going to give you another heads up. We definitely should have used different containers for our terrariums. The bases of the containers were fine, but the tops were not. And it definitely killed the majority of our succulents. So we had to switch them over to glass jars with glass tops. At the end of the day, it worked out well. We still were able to see the water cycle demonstrated perfectly fine. It's just that mm, some of our succulents didn't really survive. All right, now mommy is going to use the leftovers and make her own. Mm -hmm. 